Uh, next one we have in here is uh, 1053, so another baby boy breaking rules. And uh, the neat thing about this uh, particular litter is it ties back in two of our three best breaking rule sows. Uh, back in there and uh, this would be one here again you know we think you know mid uh, mid July you're probably at a middleweight type of range um, being a 105 litter in his growth uh, pattern here um, but you know maybe his best days there early portion of August yeah this 105 I, I don't know you know what Seth's doing on on boars and bears but he does have some uh, generator indicators in terms of his skull and his head I love that thing's build and proportions from the side. He's so good in terms of the way he's constructed in terms of his skeleton uh, and still looks like his rib cage, it will have enough to have a big back and a big pin set as it goes. Uh, I mean, zero hawk issues that thing drives away from you. I think a very neat, uh, neat pig with tons of upside. Yeah, really good stoutness of feature, and, and again, if, if that's an option, that dual purpose, uh, I would sure entertain that, because uh, again, as Doug said, that that uh, that kind of skull looks like a generator, looks like a He-Man out of the deal. Uh, he's the right proportions, the right length of body in combination with everything you see there. Uh, stoutness in front of his blade, squareness of rib and chest, really good, the right length of body, reach and go behind is excellent. That's a heavy structured one that... Uh, you know, that one could be pretty ready that first weekend out if you want to show him a jackpot show and be easy to maintain uh, week in and week out and then get to the end point and be exactly where you want to be. He's not, again, not going to be the most elevated. He's going to be a three-dimensionally stout one that uh, is not going to quit on you. I really like the angles, the uh, uh, bones and joints on that one. Really a very neat pig with a lot of stoutness of feature. That's a 105-3 boar pig. 